The Full Melt Show is intended for a mature audience. It contains adult themes, adult content, and sometimes adult language. Listener discretion is advised. Full Melt. Full melt. It's The Full Melt Show. Are you high? I what are you high. talking about? This is The Full Melt Show. The Full Melt Show, a marijuana discussion about news, news culture, culture, politics, and lifestyle. Fullmelt.com. Toll free, 844-420-TALK. 844-420-TALK. All right, we are live broadcasting at the Cannabis Cup in Clio, Michigan. For the second time this year, I might add. Oh, it's a glorious day. We are having fun out here today. Most graciously. um, At the request of the people at High Times Magazine. So um, we have to thank our friends at High Times for allowing us to come here to broadcast. It's always nice to uh, be in Flint or in the Clio area. Really, we're just north of Flint, Michigan. And we are uh, connected into the studio remotely through Skype. I I must say we sound pretty good. I'm I'm impressed with the sound. So... um, a lot of things happening out here today. It's very different this time than it has been in the past. Uh, number one, this is becoming to be more like a family reunion than uh, anything else as an event. So um, at other High Times Cannabis Cups events, I've been right next to uh, the guys from Pittsburgh Normal who happen to come out here on a regular basis and take part in Michigan's cannabis scene. And I can tell you if I was in Pennsylvania or Ohio, I'd be in Michigan doing this. So that's awfully cool. Um, There's a lot of food out here. This is known as the uh, Cannabis Cup and uh, Country Fair. And it's a three-day event, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, They open today at noon for VIP and then at 1 o'clock for everybody else saturday and sunday vip i believe opens at 11 and uh noon for everyone else so uh, with me as always if you turn your microphone on it's a uh, mad blaster one, check one yep the mad blaster is here yeah so um we are happy to have you along this is your first cannabis country yep, yep uh, this, fair event yeah this is the first time i've done the country fair event and uh let me tell you well, turn your mic experience. up a little bit yeah, make sure it's the right one. I know it's the right one. Okay, cool. You're good. I know. You're, you're in charge of mics, right? I know. Yeah, no, I got this. I got this on lock. I, uh, you're I on can make sure perp- the mics are on. Mike burping duty. You so, said duty. I did say duty. I'm sorry. There's been some medicating right. going on today. Oh, it's been, it's been a lot of medicating. Oh, it's been like a day-long event. So I, I would venture to say that you could not do what it is that I'm doing right now. Because I'm listening to myself in delay and still talking anyways. I'd love to try it. I bet you would fuck with me real oh, good. Oh, this is tripped out. Can this you, is tripped out. Talk, can you talk hearing yourself in delay? It's weird. It's I, weird. I noticed you pausing it a lot. Weird. I noticed you pausing a lot when you're talking. I can tell. Well, I am pausing because I'm hearing that thing. But, you know, as you get used to it, if you push through it and you kind of just, like, pay no attention to it. Right. I need to hear that monitor because I need to know when the uh, music yeah, comes up. Yep. And um, also, if I, if I get people on the phone, that's kind of important, too. Right, right. Um, if we're going to get people on the phone, though, we're going to have to team view into that other computer. The, um, the phone computer. Oh, yeah. So we could do it on that phone. See, really, this show is really coming to you entirely through... 4G cell phone technology. It's, it's amazing stuff. Oh, yeah, amazing stuff. Makes the mobile real easy. And so, uh, now, why didn't we coordinate somebody on rolling duty 
so that when we got on the air, we'd have something to pass around and I could cough into the microphone. I mean, I'm not trying to do I that. mean, I tried to go get a blunt before the show. You told me no. Didn't, I saw you rolling something over here a minute ago. Was what you thought? I wasn't rolling anything. No. It was sorting. Oh, I saw, it was more I saw like sorting. a little container full of weed. Yeah, now it's in my pocket. That's what I was doing. Oh, man. What's up, man? You want to so smoke you're hoarding is what you're saying. You're... Hoarding? Whoa. It's a long-ass event today. You'll thank me later. Oh, I don't know. Oh, calling me a hoarder. That hurt my feelings, that, Steve. You know, the Mad Blaster is not a hoarder. I'm a very generous smoker. I'm just saying, you know, it's a good time to fire one up. We're, here we are. On. Working with Madonna over here. Madonna? Yeah. Oh, my God. I did not great demand, like, green M&M's. Hey, did you bring the green M&M's, Todd? Because I'm not going on the air without the green M&M's. No, but we can go get them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. We should have a bowl of green M&M's and just have people oh. ask about what the... Hey, why all the green M&M's? What? What? You don't like green M&M's? What are you, prejudiced? You're not, you're not green like the rest of us? <laughs> so, uh, I'd like to get Dan Sky over here. It would seem like we've got a lot of people that we could uh, interview. For sure. And it's, uh, you know, when you come on the Full Melt Show, it's not just because, is this all you got to work with? Pretty much, brother. Really? Yeah. That's embarrassing. Whatever. I... Oh, oh, wait a minute. We ate. Talk we... to the rest No, it's, it's the dude, the dude that came by and rolled up the, uh... Grateful Meds is here with us. And I'm sure he's about to grace us with some gratefulness. It was it was the guy that stopped by to roll that joint, man. He gave me what was left on his tray. Sorry that I threw it in a bag and threw it in my pocket. Oh, he, he and... just let you have the leftovers? Yeah, whatever, man. I was, that's a oh, bowl man. later. I'm, I'm not going to call complain. you out on your leftovers. <laughs> I'm just saying. Are you too good? I'm not, you don't have to share my, the, ever with somebody else's leftovers. Man. I was going to. You told I, me I now is a went... great time. Whatever. I'm about it. Well, yeah, but, but it's, it's like a sneeze. I don't know. What do you think? Dude, the cheese gas. That sounds fucking great. What do, you, what do you think? Oh, you're the you're the the cheese gasm. I told you what favorite? I want. The cheese gasm. Do you see the name? I, I, nobody must want cheese it. Cheese gasm. I said it like four times. Nobody's going. That for sounds kind of gross. It looks like he doesn't even want it. He brought it. It's, a, it's an eighty twenty. A cheese gasm oh, is not I... not something you want to boast about. It's a good coffee bagel. Yeah, you know, I was I was doing it the other day and I had me a cheese gasm. Oh, well, I'm on good. I'm on the radio with Steve, so I need to be lax. <laughs> oh, that's just gross. See, now I'm not going to get cheesegasm out of my head. Cheesegasm. Who calls their strain cheesegasm? Next thing they'll be calling it Cheddar Squirts. Wait a minute. Who I can stop? Someone just visited you and said this is for you. Oh, look at this. Whoop, whoop. Did you just have one? Somebody just Ooh, there's some dropped oh, there's by some with some so? reefer. I, I, the, the marijuana fairy dropped by. The marijuana fairy just stopped some by and just literally just dropped off a bag. I don't know who she was. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm not going to question. I don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Does it smell like the name? It's, yeah, it definitely. It smells like a blue cheese. It's really in your face. It smells fucking amazing. Where's the gasm? That's the gasm, man. I can, I can see where the gasm comes in the punch. Again. Oh, don't drop it. Don't ruin the cheese gasm. Oh. You have to drop the cheese first to get its full effect. Dude, it's got it's got a punchy kind of smell, like like a, like a blue cheese. I mean that, like a Hawaiian punchy edge to the to the cheese. Like it's got a fruity edge to the cheese. The funk. The funk. Well, I think I am having a cheese gasm. <laughs> Look, you knew I was gonna have a cheese gasm, didn't you? It was you in the name. Right it was the in the name. Oh, this is messy. I warned you. I'm just saying. Oh, that sounds nasty. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about a cheese gasm, I'm painting some pictures in my I head. Totally had a cheese gasm. Oh man, it reminds me of the episode of South Park where they're cheesing. So we need to get uh, Ryan over here. Dude, he's too cool for us. He's too cool for us. Straight up. So that's a good thing. So we need to put this in the in the pile of stuff to consume later. I don't. We we oh. finished that pile earlier. Well, Start a new pile. That's the pile. So you had the oh, pile in your hands. Like the, I want to see what the uh, marijuana fairy. I'm more interested in what we got going on over here, man. Ooh, this is ooh, this smells kind of cheesy too. I'm gonna get at that. Give me that bud. Ooh. It's kind of different. Give that a whip. So there's a lot of uh, connoisseur edges out here today. 
if you want to uh, come by and sniff, you know, this is not a scratch and sniff event, but it is an open and sniff event. That's a pretty good one, man. I like that bag. Thank you, Potberry. Oh, the Potberry is going to stop somewhere. by several times over here. We appreciate it. But it's much obliged. Now, if you've never been to an event that is cannabis themed, where there is open cannabis uh, amongst all of the people here, I don't think you could find a single person here without weed on them. And oh, I no. think that's a beautiful blessing. Yeah, that, that'd be hard. Um, what I think is unique about this is this, this, and this is going to sound weird, but it's the same thing. It has the uh, nude beach effect. So at a nude beach, you get to do something that you, you know you don't do anywhere else. You know, mainly hang out naked on the beach. Yeah. And I'm just saying it has a different vibe to it because if you're not, if you've never been to a nude beach, it's kind of this like weird thing. Like you don't want to get too close. Right. But if you actually go to the nude beach, like nobody cares that anybody's naked. Right, right. And so there's this brotherhood or this brethren feeling. You get this community feeling that you're all there doing something that nobody else could normally do. Right, right. So you get the same feeling here at the Cannabis Cup because, you know, the nudity is replaced with cannabis. And that's the only oh, difference. kind of joined together by something we can't usually do out in the open in a public area. That, or that nobody a, else can do festival. almost anywhere. Yeah, right, right. I mean, think about it. This is the only kind of a place in the United States right now that you can do this. The places like this are very limited. Right, so right. So we're blessed to be in an area where we could do this. Now, if we tried to do the same event in Detroit, there would be pushback. In fact, they would be here scrutinizing everybody and their any cannabis consumption at all. A little cheese gasm. Oh, about to get oh, around to cheese, cheese gasm. gasm. I want to try that. So we um we really need to get uh, uh Jamie over here, maybe Ryan over here. Jamie Where's, Lowell. What's going on with the music? I mean, it seems like it seems like we would be in break by now. I don't know what's going on with the break. Oh, here we go. Oh, are we had a break. break. So we're gonna go. To, we're gonna go to break then. That's the music. I knew it was coming out somewhere. All right, we're gonna go to break. We'll be right back. Live at the Cannabis Cup. It's wild music again. The High Times Medical Cannabis Cup at Country Fair. It's going on until about 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. We'll be back with more action break. You're getting the full melt. If you, you missed you... the last full melt show, you missed a lot. King Tut. There's King Tut. You know what I wanted to bring up King Tut? But they actually dug up in Russia a uh, some ancient bongs. They're like 2,400 years old. Yes, that's fucking awesome. They're golden. Oh, my God. Two ancient golden bongs yeah. found in the Arctic tundra of Russia. They were getting high, man. Yeah. And, and, and I guess they traced it back to the uh, early tribes that populated, you know, the Russian tundra. Those tribes used to war against each other, and they would get high on the opium and the cannabis before going to war. Go figure. I'm just saying, there's somebody was selling golden bongs. I don't know. And get your golden bongs here. Golden bongs. It had to be really hard back in those days to come up with gold. Except for maybe Colombian gold. Oh, my God. Hey, the trade winds are blowing smoke in your face. Imagine a world where patients can use marijuana like any other medicine. The Marijuana Patients Organization challenges the status quo by helping our neighbors to enjoy a better quality of life. Visit the MPO at MarijuanaPatients.org and enjoy informative articles, engaging debates, and information about treatments, doctors, and dispensaries in your area. Over 50,000 people have registered at MarijuanaPatients.org since 2010. Join us at the Marijuana Patients Organization today, MarijuanaPatients.org. When you need legal help, you don't want to guess at who's standing next to you in court. And when it comes to a medical marijuana defense, it's even smarter to partner with a lawyer before you need one. 
based in Royal Oak. David Rudoy has a proven history of not being afraid to take your case all the way to the Supreme Court and win. Find the law offices of Rudoy Law at RudoyLaw.com. RudoyLaw.com is a quick reference on your rights concerning Michigan medical marijuana and up-to-date news. That's R-U-D-O-I Law.com. Call 248-935-9074 now and talk about your legal needs because at RudoyLaw.com, we don't just stand up for you. We stand up with you. What's up with these things, Victor? We decided to give ourselves stickers for each feature we release. We read about 10,000 suggestions a week to create features that, as traders, we'd want to use. 10,000 suggestions? Who reads all these? He does. For all the confidence you need, TD Ameritrade, you got this. Wish your skin could bounce back like it used to? Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel instantly quenches skin to keep it supple and hydrated day after day with hydrating hyaluronic acid which retains up to a thousand times its weight in water this refreshing water gel plumps skin cells with intense hydration and locks it in for supple hydrated skin that bounces back hydro boost from neutrogena see what's possible it's the full melt radio show radio show There we go. We sh- there we go. We're back on. Back on. Good stuff. Sorry Good about stuff. that. We got kicked off the air by uh, somebody who called the studio phone. Studio phone is um, what keeps us on the uh, radio when we're out live at events like this. So we did not get a chance to get um, look, the people here that you could interview, oddly enough. Right are engaged in deep conversation with random passerbyers. Yeah, you're going to need to turn your mic up a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with random passerbyers. But like good James news is... to play with another service dog, and this lady's got a giant stuffed animal, which Jace thinks is a, uh, a giant toy that's like his size. Just a wet dream from dog heaven. Yes, he <laughs> wants to go hump that stuffed toy. But oh my good God, thing it's Barney is, Frank. We Look, were, it's Barney Frank. We were left with the uh, the cheese guys. You don't even know who Barney Barney Frank is. I'm focusing on this awesome weed, man. This is a cannabis cup. Oh. It's about it's about the cannabis. So they what I started to say earlier that this fair is different than others, and that it's it. I guess it's never been a quote a quote. Of, "Quote unquote fair before." It's always been the cannabis cup, or at least the medical cannabis cup, right here. And uh, this year, they decided to add not only a separate event with uh, extra musical acts, but uh, third day to the second event. And so that's a lot of um. That's a lot of day, especially when you got you're doubling the doubling the we well, are doubling the size of the event. First off, the first cannabis cup was not this size. Right, was, right. At this venue, it was half this size. And then they did such a good job with it the second year that they got they were used. They filled the whole thing up. And then uh, now they filled the whole thing up and added a second event the same year like three months apart and added a third day to the second event. So that's a lot of expansion. Right, right, really growing. This cheese is pretty good. This cheese gasm. Cheese gasm 
is living up to its namesake. Yep, it was a solid way to spend the break. Um, you want to try and talk with the uh, headphones on? Do you think you could do it all stoned? Because there uh, is a solid delay maybe, that you have to contend maybe with when you're talking the next on this break, We'll do a little switcheroo. Oh, no, we'll do it right now. All right, the fuck now. Yeah, 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 for sure. Let's go, I mean, I'm game. If you wait until the break, you get, you know, you're psyching yourself up for it. Man, we've got a crowd drawing. Yeah, we got a huge crowd standing around the Cannabis Cup. We're broadcasting live at thefullmelt.com and syndicated across. Wait, syndicated. How did that happen? Brother, I can't. The delay Sorry. fed its way into my natural speech. It's weird. <laughs> syndicated. It's like a dispensary. Dispensary. Uh, we're syndicated across the country in many different places. Now, the reason being is usually we have big guests, national guests, uh, high-profile people, people in the news. And I think the news here is all the cool stuff at the Cannabis Cup. Now, the fair part of this that they added this year is not only this extra day, but they've got these, like, I don't know, like carnival booth events. I mean, they get, not events. They're... This, I've like seen carnival some, a couple carnival-style games around, yeah. Yeah, there's, you know, there's like the fishing with, pole with, game. Yeah, with a little bit of a... Or the bottleneck game. Still. And you can win, you know, stuffed animals. And so it's really like a carnival, but a cannabis carnival. Con- yeah, country fair. See, I think fair. they should have called it the Cannabis Carnival Cup. Or the Carnival Cannabis Cup. I, I think <laughs> Cannabis Carnival would have been fine. Or the, the Cannabis Cup Harvest Carnival. You took it somewhere, man. Yeah, you had it. And Cannabis yeah, Cup Harvest Harvest Carnival. Car- car- okay, you try it. <laughs> yeah, you, you want me to try it? On and you try talking while the delay is happening because it's a oh, significant it's delay. So if you talk, just okay, just try saying any solid sentence while that delay is going on. I mean, I've been getting really high today, so this is hard enough. Um, but I love the experience. It's been really fun being out here having to... Uh, pass out flyers and whatnot. I can't hear a word you're saying because I don't have headphones on and oh, you're yeah, too quiet. Oh, no, yeah, trust me. It's tripping me out. It's trippy? It's tri- now you know. Now you know that I can't hear a word that you're saying. Yes. I mean, now yeah. you know why I was speaking in spaces like Yeah, Yep, yep. <laughs> I understand where the spacing comes. It's trippy, guys. It's hard guys. not to speak in spacing Especially like when that when you're hearing you every word you say day. back delayed by a couple seconds. It's, it's uh, one of the things we're Take having to deal with out back. here at this particular event. Um, I'm done with that shit. Normally, I've got a little bit of a different way of connecting into the studio, but uh, oh, this one is going to song. evolve in a way. So here's a lighter. You got a microphone? You want a microphone? No, you're silent, silent Todd. What are we talking about? I'm going to... I don't know. Give him a microphone. Give, give him the mic. Can I hear? Can I have a mic? Uh, yeah, you can't. You won't be able to nope. hear we ain't hearing shit, what I can hear. But if you want to borrow the headphones for a sec, do you want to try the trippy headphones? Trippy headphones. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. But if you're delayed, though, I'll get here. I'll let you try the headphones on. So now you get the trippy delay. So if you talk to me, it's going to be weird. Yeah, it does sound weird. Oh, it's really weird. Like when you keep see, you got to say something beyond. Hey, it does sound weird. You got to say, hey, it does sound weird. And I don't know if I can keep talking like this because it's going to fuck me up when I try and say something. It's really hard. Ooh. Woo, that was tough to listen to. <laughs> well, so we've, we've tripped ourselves out with headphones, so that's what we've accomplished so far here at the Cannabis Cup. We got stoned and then listened to ourselves with a delay so and got tripped out by it. Yay! Whoopee! Mission accomplished. Woo! <laughs> Sucks. Y'all take killing now. me, man. <laughs> we're, like, uh, we're like children here playing with... Um, Mom's telephone. Oh, yeah. I feel like a kid again. This is this is a place I would go to feel like a kid again. Yes. Oh, well, don't you feel like a kid here? Because oh, I, I do. do. A kid in a candy oh, store, yes. Yeah, you get to talk in there. Yeah. Like, we can't hear you unless you... Hey, I think we have a caller. We have a caller? <laughs> I think I hear the phone ringing. No. Somebody's calling into the show right now. My they phone's have a ringing? Oh, wait. No, it better not be. Hello? Tripping me out saying you can hear stuff when you have no headphones. Is this the full melt show? Somebody called a minute ago. I don't hear shit. It um, it uh, shut us off the air because it's muted the Skype. Somebody actually called the phone. So uh, the way we do this, I'll bore you with the detail. 
We're broadcasting from our studio right now, but we're actually Skyped into that studio uh, by uh, being able to answer our own Skype call. So there's nobody in the studio. I'm, uh, I'm the ghost in the studio remote controlling from here. So um, it's a little trippy and strange, but we did get on the air. So I'd like to get Dan Sky over here. What happened to other uh, guys from IDK? They're over here. Ryan from our old yeah, uh, show know, is over here. Laughing, he comes fun, by every year. Happy. We never get a chance to talk to him. The passerby. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Man. Hey, Seems Advanced like the... Nutrients. Are you from Advanced Nutrients? What's that? Are you from Advanced? No, I'm Uncle Stoner from Smokers Guy TV. Kind of Say again? I'm Uncle Stoner from Smokers Guy TV, and I'm also a Global Oh, awesome. Very cool. Uncle so, Stoner's in the house. Uncle Stoner is in the house. I've never seen him live. Really? He looks like a surfer. You've, you've seen him before? He should have one of those shirts on that says, do I look like a patient? I thought that guy was from uh, Advanced Nutrients. He looks exactly like the uh, guy that does uh, promotions for Advanced Nutrients, who has a big, huge, beautiful tent here, by the way. And, and by the way, Todd, stop by Advanced Nutrients. Every time you go by, they'll give you some more crap for free. No, I just went by there this afternoon and spent like 250 bucks. Oh, they'll just keep giving you more free crap. They put me on the email list, and next thing you know, I was PayPal and another 50. <laughs> they'll just keep you uh, loading you up with free stuff at the Advanced Nutrients booth. The more you buy, the better the deal they give you. No, for sure. I mean, that's for sure. Kind of how that's it works right. Everywhere. They look at me and they're like, he's not walking out of there because he wants the hookup deal. And they give it to me. Oh, just. Um, looking around there's a lot of uh cannabis around i mean there's a lot of jars and jars of cannabis it's more than cannabis you know all oh, this yeah, uh, we got the um all this the, cannabis, the moon man. rock and i can't go out there and, and find shatter a strain and shatter too and rosin and rosin what were you saying jamie uh, all, all I, I gotta this... i gotta ask and oils you... hemp oils i mean everything your little heart could imagine that has anything to do with cannabis is here. <laughs> wow. Food, it's snacks, fun. beverages. Oh, man. Lemonade infused. I've seen the Kool Aids and whatnot. You can drink it, vape it, smoke it, drink it. Drink it. Yep. Drink uh, it. I wonder if there's anybody juicing cannabis here today. <laughs> they're pressing it. Well, they're doing Because there's pressing. some. There's some distributors of some major equipment here that are doing this. So place. they're doing pressing demonstrations? Yeah, they're, they're pressing keep. They're pressing bud. They're showing you how oh, to make wow. everything. They're showing you. We should go by later tomorrow and do some live Facebook videoing at those demonstrations. That would be pretty cool. They're great. I mean, they're great to see. You can see the stuff all over to, I mean, YouTube all day long. But right in front of you right here, as you're good medicated the whole time makes it even better i don't know i've never tried to uh live stream from the facebook uh, site that has the full melt show on it um we have a facebook site for the full melt show and then i have a personal site and the personal page i always do the live streaming on i've never tried to do it from the full melt show site so uh we should try that if we can we're going to do some live streaming tomorrow on the full melt page on facebook but if we uh, are unable to do that for some reason, then you'll have to go to uh, my personal Facebook page and watch it there. You don't even have to have to friend me or nothing uh, because uh, you're able to. Uh, it's fully public viewed. Everything I post is uh, for the public. I don't even I've never posted. I think I have one video that I took and made private, but only because somebody requested me to and I didn't care. So do you have a favorite vendor here, Steve? Oh, man. That's like uh, going to the candy store and saying, hey, do you have a favorite candy? Oh, He's got to be so careful to pick from. Here. All right, let me get a, get a top five. No random owner. Oh, man, I don't, I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't even know who's all here. I've not Everyone's had a chance to go here, look man. around. You name it, they're here. Well, you I see mean, it, I... you buy it, you touch it, and all the dispensaries around the state, they're here. Yeah, dude, I don't really have a favorite. I mean, I have my favorite from time to time, 
but it changes all the time. So I couldn't say that I have a favorite, really. And, and, and all these guys are my friends. If I put them in an order or uh, somehow scrutinized them by rank, I think they would. somebody would always be offended. So I'm not going to do that. Um, it's a good taking the high road. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I just don't want to put somebody else down by putting somebody else on a pedestal, and it wouldn't be accurate anyways. Because, I went um, over to it changes uh, too much. I went over to this other guy's booth and did a dab of his, and then went to the one next to him, did a dab of his, then went to the one next to him and did another dab of his, and then they all looked at me and they wanted me to say, "Okay, who's was the best?" Really? Yeah. So Actually, they put you on the spot. So I jumped up and I did the the Mary Lou Retton ten. Say say that again to the mic. I jumped up like I was like I just hit it closer to the mic. Like I I jumped up like I just nailed a dive. Oh, wow. Like gymnastics, Olympics dive. And I nailed it, stuck it, and then I rose and all my fingers, 10. I gave them all a 10. Oh, you gave them all a 10? I gave them all a 10. You put them all on the highest pedestal. As they should be. They just <laughs> gave me three amazing dabs. Well, look, that's they also an like, acceptable answer. Think? That's kind of that? like the point of coming here. Is you get to meet all these people. And they all want you to test their medication. Um, Ryan, do you know when they're going to kick us out today? When does this thing shut down? Two. I don't know. We don't know. They say get out. So far, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. On, it's going to be 2 a.m. No, I don't think it'll go that late. Buddies until 2. Yeah, be buddies 2 will go until 2. Hey, there he is. It's about to get crazy up in here. Uh, Leon was helping us earlier. Yeah. Levi was helping us uh yeah, this He's guy. Cart. Yeah, we couldn't have got back here unless He's working Levi helped us with the cart. All Levi. afternoon, and he is just killing the game. His pockets I'm are sorry, just the mad sticking out. His balls today, guys. Some generous, kind people here. Oh, very generous. At the cannabis club, man. I'm so telling you, the help is here oh, wow. to help. Um. Wow, uh, Genesee and Richfield. So we're on the air. I don't want to say it. Uh, but I, I, I won't be able to remember this either. Uh, can you get take? Can you take this down from him? It's a little after party information. It's a uh, by invite only. Um, thank you. I'd like to get on that invite list if there's a, a way. A pen, hey, what do we got? Oh, the the. Come on, you the, can take a picture, Snapchat, memo. Oh, there we go. Send yourself a text. Send yourself an email. Yeah, we're taking done. a picture of the uh, information. Uh, We've been secretly invited to a. Uh, Special after party. Sounds like a place to be. Oh shit! <sighs> it, it's nothing like coming to a cannabis cup and. Uh, I wonder what's going to be going on at that party. Got what are the they going to be doing? What kind of stuff? What's going know, on? I'll have to tell you about it during the break because we are running the break. We're broadcasting live from Clio, Michigan. Where's Clio? At the Auto City Speedway. It is the uh, Michigan Medical Cannabis Cup and Country Fair. Be right back. You're getting the full melt. If you, you missed the last full melt show, you missed a lot. In uh, San Juan County, the police took plants that just got cut down, took the big stalks, went and laid them out, dried them out, and then trimmed up the marijuana and put it into jars and used that against somebody in the court of law. <laughs> so it's wait, like, wait, so wait, we're wait, paying wait. police officers to trim marijuana now. For the pretend caregivers. They got on their little maid's outfits and they got their, <laughs> their little gloves on and their little scissors and they're all happy playing with the weed. The Full Melt Show is live 7 to 8 Eastern on fullmelt.com. Attention. Get ready to write down a very important number. Michael does not know how to fail. Second place is loser. If you have a medical marijuana case and need legal representation, call the best, attorney Michael Camorn. He's very passionate in the courtroom. Getting the best outcome requires quick legal action, and it needs to start with one call, toll-free, to attorney Michael Camorn. 800-656-3557. Write it down. 800-656-3557. Michael Camorn gave us our life back. Attorney Michael Camorn. Vigorous criminal defense. Ram trucks are reaching new heights when it comes to capability and efficiency. The Ram Heavy Duty is the most capable full size pickup on the road today. And the Ram 1500 is the most fuel efficient full size pickup ever. So, what does that mean? 
It means Ram trucks are built for the long haul. Ram, America's longest lasting pickups. Root Metrics, in the nation's largest independent study, tested wireless performance across the country. Verizon won big with 153 state wins. AT&T got 38, Sprint got two, and T-Mobile got zero. Verizon also won first in the U.S. for data, call, speed, and reliability. AT&T got text. Stuck on an average network? Join Verizon, and we'll cover your cost to switch. Introducing Sacred Elements, a place for natural and alternative healing for the mind, body, and soul. Sacred Elements. It's one place, all solutions. Registered, licensed, certified, ordained. Sacred Elements. Massage, hypnosis, Reiki. Sacred Elements. Raindrop, aroma and color therapy, body detox, ministry, life coaching, weight and nutrition counseling. Sacred Elements. Next to the Sweetly, 400 South Door Highway, Flint. 11 to 7 daily, closed Sunday. Call 810-259-2570. Play-Doh Compound can help kids practice communication skills. Start by presenting the visual of the letter or word. Then ask them to mold the Play-Doh Compound into the shape of the letters. It's an effective way to foster speech and even writing. Hey, it's Steve Green for the Sweet Leaf in Flint. Doing a Sweet Leaf commercial. Safe access to medical cannabis patients in Flint, Michigan is never more welcoming. Presenting the Sweet Leaf, a brand new patient experience bringing 12 carefully selected caregivers housed in nine separate offices to distinctly assist you with their knowledge and reputation for excellent patient care. Classes and training coming soon in the large community room. Check it out in person, 400 South Door Highway or call 810-259-2571. The Sweet Leaf Center in Flint, 810-259-2571. My name is Kubo. When people say Kubo, 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 they're talking about the best animated movie of the year. Whoa, show off. Kubo is captivating. You got my attention. <laughs> Kubo is charming. Don't even. Live mics are live, not yet. It's an unforgettable adventure that will delight fans of all ages. Like me? Yes. Yeah. In theaters and real D3D rated PG. It's the Full Melt Radio Show. Radio Show. Good Lord. It's a little loud. Yeah, can you turn me down a little bit? Yeah, um, I think you got the wrong one. Oh, God, I'm... <laughs> The that blaster is his first time running the uh, the microphones, and it's gotten a little crazy. <clears throat> well, I um, screwed up more than that the first time I read a board, so I had the Pepsi syndrome. Sweet. You know what the Pepsi syndrome is? Can't um, say I do. That's the joy of live radio or live anything. When you do anything the live, pep- the Pepsi syndrome hurdles. is when you spill a Pepsi on the soundboard. Ha! That's the Pepsi that. syndrome. That's a syndrome, all right. I don't know if I want to label Pepsi. I mean, why are you yeah. blaming them for your yeah, problems? <laughs> well, you know, it's because um, they didn't they have a didn't, I, I don't remember what it was called, but there was an implication of the Pepsi syndrome happening at that nuclear plant oh, in the share movie about it. Right, right. Now, what is it? The China syndrome? Yes. It's the China syndrome, but yeah. it's really the the Pepsi syndrome. Right. Hey, you man. spilled a Pepsi on the control panel and all of a sudden you've got a nuclear like, meltdown. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nuclear plants are like radio stations. No liquid in the booth, dude. That's yeah. the rule, yeah. but nobody seems to no, follow. For sure. Once people get the job in the station, they're like, woo, drinks in the booth. When you're trying to get the job, you follow all the rules and be, you know, doing it right. <laughs> so you're hearing the familiar voice of uh, Ryan. Ryan. Ryan Bringle. Ryan Bringle. Yeah. I'm back, back With again. I never went away. I've always been around. Um, we're back at the cup, though. This is like a reoccurring uh, event now. I mean, there are like regulars. Well, regulars twice this year, and you know before, but yeah, we. I mean, we should call it the Steve Cup or the Ryan, Steve Cup. The next, you can have the Steve Cup. We're gonna label it you next time, Wait. and then I'm gonna have the Ryan Cup. And, you know, we'll cup it on down the line. Everybody the Steve Cup's going to be full of holes, I'm just no. telling you. Well, then you're not getting a cup. We're going to skip the you Steve Cup. We're going to do the Ryan Blaster Cup. Mine's more like going to be the Steve Basket. 
die. Well, it's a sieve. <laughs> it's, you just weave a tail, and there you go. Oh, That's what you get. Well, it will entertain us all the same. No, this is, you know, the cup twice in one year in Michigan. Who would have ever thought that? I mean, 10 years ago, well, people I, would have never believed that. I was that. just uh, relating the idea to Mad Blaster that uh, when you go to the Cannabis Cup here in Michigan, especially in this environment and this atmosphere, it's reminiscent of going to a nude beach. Sweet. Because you I, have something in common with everybody else there that you normally couldn't do Almost anywhere else. Can you believe I've never been to a nude beach? Is really never. Out of all the things that I have done in my life, I would say if I died today, that I've lived more of a full life than most people. Right. But that's one thing I've not done, and I've done like I was saying earlier. I basically. Well, why don't you go? Train. Is that on your bucket list? No, it really is. I mean, I never. I, now you I've got been a little nude weird. at the beach. Problem? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me, let you got me. button. Button syndrome going on there? No, no, because I have been nude at the beach to the point that I have a, you know, oh, yeah, I have a semi-conviction beach. for lewd and lascivious behavior in Mackinac Island. What? It, oh, okay. Oh, in wow. The morning, I didn't need to know all that. On Mackinac Island, <laughs> you know, when there's a couple, the islands are for couples, things could happen, you know, and, and you know, it's three in the morning. So, you know, I... I I, I've, I've been nude on an island and a beach and all that, but I've never been to, like, a designated like the one nude place you won't beach. get in trouble for it. But I'll so go. I'll tell you, a great <laughs> a great nude beach that you could go to in America is called Hollandale Beach. Hollandale Beach. And it is in beach. Florida, right around North Miami Beach. North Miami Beach. So you got North Miami Beach, and then just north of that is Hollandale Beach. And it's a state park. I'm going to be in Miami and, for Christmas. Wait a oh, really? Yeah, as soon as Christmas. Alicia and myself will be down there with my our whole family. So so then you'll have a chance to play the, go to this and beach. And go to this beach in the next Cannabis Cup. I can say, guess what I did. Well, will, will, will somebody else go to the boob, new beach, new, the booby beach with you? Oh, Alicia will go. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. You're lucky she's got clothes on now. Shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've always said that. If, uh, I'd, I'd I'd say if I had the option, there, but I would weird. never wear clothes. You what? You if never said, wear clothes? If, I've always said if I had the option, I would never wear clothes. Right. I, I think that, you know. I hope you'd be courteous enough to wear clothes for me. I might quit the show well, in uh, this case. <laughs> Mad Blaster has a problem with nude show hosting. Yeah. I, I don't want to sit loud. here in this chair. Nad's just a dangling, talking about the cannabis news. Really? You, yeah, you, I mean, you Mad know. Blaster would not go to a nude. No, I'd go to a nude beat. I don't want to do He's a broadcast. He's not going everywhere naked. else nude. I was just saying, I don't, want, I, don't, yeah, I don't want a nude life. I don't want a nude life where I wait, wait, wait. every day to do the show and he's naked as fuck. He said, I don't no, want one, a nude no, life. One, 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 one person at a time. <laughs> Hang on. Mad Blaster. I'm mad. That's me. So go ahead. So you, I, no, we couldn't hear because everybody was talking at the oh, same time. Oh, I'm just saying I wouldn't want to live a nude life where I'd have to see you every day to do the show with your butt naked ass. And I mean, I'd go to a nude oh. beach. I'm just wait a minute. I don't want to. I don't want to sit with my here. Butt naked ass? I don't want to sit I think he's here. He's using the as an example. Now, you have to take think about it. Okay, so a nude if everybody life. here was naked, I mean, nobody would care that I was naked. I would. You would? <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm within arm's reach of you. Yeah, I'm concerned. Really? Oh, whatever, guys. Even if even so even if Ryan here was naked, I'd have an issue with that too. He can touch what? me. See, I mean, that's not, yeah, that's too much. I, I can go just because I'm naked. Why does he think he he's can within, touch me? He's within, you know, reachy just distance. Just because I'm naked, why does he think he can touch me? Just for the record, Matt was touching me. That's why he keeps saying that. Nobody's whatever. answering. It's, it's mad. If I was naked, he would be I'm all mad. over me. No. You know it. He was all over me and I got clothes oh, on. Whatever. I was showing I off. think you do want to live the new life. I was all that tit in motion. I'm just, oh. I don't want to see. Oh, we got to take Mad Blaster to the I'm new like beach. I'm like the Mountain Dew commercial. Oh, I don't want to do a broadcast from there. That'd be weird. <laughs> Let me That'd see you shake it. Weird. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't do a new a broadcast in there. Why not? It's radio. We don't have to I suppose you anything. could, but. From where? I, I don't know. I never thought about sitting on a beach naked. Doing a broadcast. Well, that's what I'm we saying. We should do that from Florida this year. That's what's. That's oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a there's a there's plan a, coming together. That's it. Christmas oh, in Florida, in Miami at the. Oh, nude wait beach. a minute. New oh, Year's Eve oh. at the nude beach. 
We're going to do a live broadcast. I'm bringing a cock sock. <laughs> Mad Blaster says, nope, the no. junk goes in the trunk. What? No, that's not what I said. Oh, wrong, well, wrong. Yeah, that could be taken wrong. <laughs> um, there's speculation oh, at this point goodness. on what was said. We opened up a can of beer. Re re rewind the tape. Oh, there's a promo oh, yeah, on there. Sure. There's a promo on <laughs> there. Hey, hey, so um, um, we have our mascot here. We look, uh, they just did medical cannabis in uh, Florida. It's just the oil, but we can't. We could not. We could, we could consume it's cannabis on the beach. CBD. But we could right. do a show from there. CBD oil, yes. We or is it all concentrated? Some oil. You're no, not well, answering my question. Fat blunts and just take them to the face. Well, it's CBD oil, not THC, correct? In Florida. No, yes. Yes. Okay. Well, to oh, be honest yeah, with you, this, I, I, about that. I currently have not ever really felt an effect of a CBD personally. It does. It, other people swear by it. For me personally, I'm not a fan. I don't feel much from it. But that's just me. So it works for her. Yeah, well, like I said, everybody. I mean, I eat edibles, and I, I'm not a fan, and she really enjoys them. So I think everybody's chemistry is a little different. I mean, I know people that can drink like a keg of beer versus me. I can drink two beers and be on the floor. So, you know, I mean, it's a chemical and everybody's right. a little bit different. Right. We, um, um, why does it seem so dark? Only 8.30. It got dark. It did get kind of dark. You know, I think it's getting towards 8 o'clock. Again, I mean, we're live. We got left on the air. From the Cannabis Cup in Clio, Michigan. Again. That's the key factor. It's our second so, uh, time. We've only got about 14 minutes left on the air. And in that 14 minutes, commercial break. Oh, look at, look at Todd we over here working it. We can do on-air dabs. Todd's working it. Check it out. He's had some, he's had some liquid courage. I like courage. that, dude, man. I'm going to go do what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, Matt hasn't left the booth. Do you get any All this time? talk about being naked and uh, smoking cannabis has uh, got Matt Blaster all. Chubby up wants mad, to go out. Not mad. Walking and up. Um, does Mad get off time? Yeah. Can he go enjoy the cup? Off time. Oh, I've enjoyed oh, the yeah. cup plenty today. Oh, okay. yeah. I've done some walking. Lots of off time I, for the Mad Blast. I've seen some sights to be seen. All right, so uh, we got to go back to a break. We'll come back with uh, our little wrap-up of our preview of the Cannabis Cup here. We got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday right here at the Medical Cannabis Cup in Clio, Michigan, broadcasting live until they kick us out. Or until the show ends, whichever comes first. He said, You're getting the full yeah. melt. Promotional consideration provided by nosmell.com, pioneering the storage market for cannabis users. The no smell patented bag technology offers users 100% smell proof detection from even the most sophisticated of noses. Nosmell.com. So nobody knows. When placing your order for a no-smell bag, make sure to use discount code BULLMELT and take 10% off the entire order. Learn more about no-smell technology at nosmell.com. If you, you, you missed the last Full Melt show, you missed a lot. All right, so there's this idiot reporter out in Grand Rapids today. I saw her on a promo for some show she's doing about kids and drugs, and she's interviewing a, a policewoman and a prosecutor. Check this out. They sound like something that, like, drug addicts would use. Are regular teenagers using butane? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, when you are out there, you're seeing kids at, are you seeing it younger and younger? Are you seeing it used in homes more frequently? Um, what, what's actually happening? Okay, that's a stupid question, you old bat. Can you come up with an original reporter's question? One that somebody can actually answer? Is it addictive? Is it something that's going to get a kid in trouble? Can people manage their, their use? Well, I mean, I think that's one of the biggest myths. Okay, okay, again, I just have to take issue with this. Uh, Wood TV in Grand Rapids, this lady needs to study up before she sticks a microphone in an official's face and asks an idiot question. When you need legal help, you don't want to guess at who's standing next to you in court. And when it comes to a medical marijuana defense, it's even smarter to partner with a lawyer before you need one. Based in Royal Oak, David Rudoy has a proven history of not being afraid to take your case all the way to the Supreme Court and win. Find the law offices of Rudoy Law at RudoyLaw.com. RudoyLaw.com is a quick reference on your rights concerning Michigan medical marijuana and up-to-date news. That's R-U-D-O-I-Law.com. Call 248-935-9074 now. 
and talk about your legal needs. Because at RedoyLaw.com, we don't just stand up for you, we stand up with you. Hey, it's Steve Green for the Sweet Leaf in Flint, because now getting safe access to medical cannabis patients in Flint, Michigan, is never more welcoming. Presenting the Sweet Leaf, a brand new patient experience bringing 12 carefully selected caregivers housed in nine separate offices to distinctly assist you with their knowledge and reputation for excellent patient care. Classes and training coming soon in the large community room. Check it out in person, 400 South Door Highway, or call 810 25 925-71. The Sweet Leaf Center in Flint, 810-259-2571. My moderate to severe chronic plaque psoriasis made a simple trip to the grocery store anything but simple. So I had an important conversation with my dermatologist about Humira. He explained that Humira works inside my body to target and help block a specific source of inflammation that contributes to my symptoms. In clinical trials, most adults taking Humira were clear or almost clear, and many saw 75% and even 90% clearance in just four months. Humira can lower your ability to fight infections, including tuberculosis. Serious, sometimes fatal infections and cancers, including lymphoma, have happened, as have blood, liver, and nervous system problems, serious allergic reactions, and new or worsening heart failure. Before treatment, get tested for TB. Tell your doctor if you've been to areas where certain fungal infections are common, and if you've had TB, hepatitis B, are prone to infections, or have flu-like symptoms or sores. Don't start Humira if you have an infection. Ask about Humira, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists. Clear skin is possible. It's the Full Melt Radio Show. Radio Show. Oh. Father, tell me, do we get what we deserve? Oh, we get what we deserve. And where down we go. All right, we're live back at the Cannabis Cup in Clio. Uh, it's getting dark out here. Now that we're getting Let's towards the end of the, the summer, chase. it uh, does get dark a lot of earlier. Do you do you want to air your grievance out that happened during the commercial break, or are you just? Oh done? no, not yet. I was getting to that. Oh, oh. I'll get to the grievance. All right. We were well, we we left off with the audience with uh, the new beach thing. So should should we start planning? You know, getting our tickets to uh, Miami oh, for the for fuck. Christmas I'm, for the Christmas show. I'm ticketed, shit. man. I'm out. I will be there the 22nd of December. So Ryan's already got his tickets. Um, so well, I'm waiting for you guys uh, to how catch much, up. How much was it round trip? Was it expensive? Uh, check this out. <laughs> I got mine for 265 round trip per person from Detroit, Michigan, directly to Lauderdale. Miami. Which, oh, to Lauderdale. Lauderdale. You know, it was it was it was 500 plus to go to Miami, and you're talking about a half hour ride. It's worth the savings. My yes. sister bought the same tickets last month, six hundred dollars per person. Yeah. There's some deals from Flint too. You gotta be a shopper if you want to do yep. cheap travel. You know, you're not gonna go on but the. But that's web still five hundred bucks at Christmas time. Uh, uh, I did. It cut for Alicia and myself to go. I'm paying like just over five hundred, like five and a quarter. For my just sis- plane. For my daughter, her ticket was six hundred bucks because we waited oh, to wow. buy hers with oh, my sister. Awesome. Now, you know, at least I had a savings. I mean, I, I won on one side and paid heavy on the other. So I still want to do uh, Jamaica. They do Jamaica every year now. That's the new international. Cup, I know. Isn't it? I, I get it. Wow. I, I just wish. Um, it seems like there's a lot of hurdles. So when we do this cannabis cup here, because we're here and we're local broadcasters, we always come here every year uh, and have ever since they started the cannabis cup here in Michigan. They're always happy to give us a, a booth and tickets, but uh, the ticket and booth costs for the same thing in Jamaica is what we would get here is nearly impossible for this show to me. So they won't just uh, give us a, a media booth there right. to broadcast There's no from. donation booths or uh, non-profit booths. That's what no, they believe. No, it's run by the guys in Jamaica. Like, right. they run a the lot. Ra- they the have a lot to say. run a lot the of... beach, run the right. cup because it's their land. Right. Right. You know, it's the natives running shit. I'm not anti that. I mean, it's hard for a show like this to go without some kind of donation. We got to make so, peace with the Rastas. We got to talk to them. Direct. Oh yeah, we got to go down there and you know 
sit down on the beach and we got to talk to them direct and see if they're willing to donate some space. We're righteous. We're righteous. They'd be good with what we do, what you do. Um, And then the people at Cannabis Cup would be happy to give us a little uh, spot maybe there. Yeah, I think if we could talk to the roster guys. How do you get a hold of those guys, though? That's all. Smoke that's, signals. That's. <laughs> um, all right. Let's well, try let's try it. It's an idea. I mean, at least he had and an well, idea. Well, wait, guys, how would you know? We have. Did you got a hold of the right guy? It's in the grill. So I we mean, start you could be totally with, snowed by some guy in a gang that you got a hold of. The, oh yeah, we're the Rastas. Well, well, the, the, in Jamaica, that's probably kind of how it does work. I mean, there's. Districts right. are run by Dons, and, you know, if that Don grants you privilege, then you're in. And if he doesn't, you're not. So how do you Don the Don? Oh, well, you know, that's the that's the secret of the game, you know. he doesn't. He's not listed, I can probably tell you that. Oh, oh for sure. You know, you're going to have to. It's not like it's a, a connection thing. Not, they're in the phone book. Right. It's, it's through connections. You can't just Google the Don of this district. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. But there has to be a path because Cannabis Cup and High Times have found that path, and they are dealing oh, with I'm the sure. same people that and, you and would want to And they got the whole with. Jamaican government involved, like right. not just these districts, but like the whole of the government. Right. Isn't which there, is, a, isn't is, which like, is really a, an agreement amongst all these districts. And so I, I believe I'm correct, but I'm, you can let me know. If I'm a citizen of the United States... And I have a medical marijuana card, and I'm yes. at the Cannabis Cup. Yes. Can I smoke cannabis legally? Yes. If I don't have a card, can I well, smoke here's, cannabis? Well, here's the deal. Here, 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 it's not exactly like that. Okay. You do have to get a permit, a tourist permit from the Jamaican government that, that gives you permission to smoke medical cannabis. And the only way you can get a tourist permit is to have your medical card from the States. The U.S. So yeah. they honor our cards. With a permit and fee. Right. Yes. Hey, I'm, it's a tax stamp. Yeah, that's I'm cool, cool with yes. that. Yes. I'm cool with that. So you go there, and it's like this. going yep, through customs. Always. Cannabis yes, is do. being distributed about. Um, well, then that's, yeah, great. That's that's a great setup. Again, whoever organized that really put in some effort to do so. Um, that That's quality. I like that. I have to I have to tell you something that I saw last weekend. Um your listeners, you know, they know that you've done the Woodward Cruise live a few times. And, right. you know, that was just last weekend, as you know. They had a drag course on Woodward in front of St. Joe's Hospital was the location. Friday. Drag course? Friday. Uh, open street legal so, drag wait a, course. So, wait a minute. There, was, there were people out there in dresses flitting up and down the street? Oh, you're cute, Steve. And a few cars. Oh, oh. Well, then that's just Detroit. Like, every day. You're thinking of Key West. <laughs> you know, I don't know. There's a lot of strange people in Detroit, so if they're having a drag show in the street, I mean, that's nothing new. You know, but it was sanctioned. You know, during the cruise in the past, if the, you did okay. burnouts, you would be ticketed. Let me just tell you a quick story. I, I was going to Detroit the other day. Um... Actually, it was in Detroit, and I forget what I was there for, but it was nighttime. It was downtown area, and I was really just going through. I wasn't, like, there. I was just going through the area. And boom, um, chicka, boom, no. when I pulled off the expressway, the main drag that I had to get onto to get on the other expressway uh, was occupied by two people who were stopped in the street, two cars. Right. And one was cocked a little bit sideways, just a little bit, and then somebody got out of the car and was standing between them and um, was talking. And I'm like, oh, are you guys going to move or what? And he looked up and put his hands in the air and pointed to the ground and they squealed down the street. Oh, and wow. then he just walked to the curb and started walking. Right. So they just took advantage of this a normal street. So drag, drag races in the streets all of Detroit happens all the time. But, but I can't believe they had it sanctioned during, during yes. the Dream Cruise. Well, they what they did is they did it Friday which officially the cruise is Saturday only. In front of a hospital. That's what that was the unusual part, but they had a, you know, an emergency back entrance so the ambulances got in and out and things worked, but it so was So wait a minute, they detoured the ambulances? Yes. 
ambulance detour this way. Yes. Oh, that's just weird. Well, you know. But they, Only in America, folks. And they're not even stoned there. It's during the this Motor time. City. This man. is the Woodward Dream Cruise. Sick oh people, God. cool cars. Sick people, cool cars. <laughs> One day a year, Ryan, the cars Ryan, Ned we are at the end of a show. Um, and we will be back tomorrow broadcasting live at a special time. Look for the posting on Facebook. Until then, I'm Steve Green. I'm the Mad Blaster. We'll see you then. The Full Melt Show is a production of TFM Media.